everybody. Hey, uh, what kind of backlit? Sorry about that. We're out in Simi Valley today. Can you see uh, me? Wait, hold on a second. Let's rotate. You can turn around so you can yeah. see me. Look at those Valley. mugs. Much better. We got cars in the background. We're in Simi Valley uh, for the Ventura County Auto Show. It doesn't really look so much like an auto show right now because we're like about an hour early. Pretty busy too. Yeah. And yeah, that that's not going in the show. And I'm hanging out with Ken because uh, because I can. Yeah, what do you got to say for yourself? We should enter that. What? Oh yeah, he's pointing to the truck. I, we brought this in, and they thought we were going in the show. It's just that good, man. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's really cool. But I don't want to get stuck in here. So let's go look at some other cars. Check it out. Dress warm? Uh, no. He just told me, uh, never use so much armor all. Oh, yeah, be careful with the armor all. On your soft top. Yeah, on any yeah. top. Like this one here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a pretty good turnout so far. Yeah, it's really good. It's just we're early and there's a lot of empty spaces. So we're going to wait a little while and then we'll, we'll come back and do some more. I smell bacon. That's my uh, deodorant. We are at the Simi Valley Auto Show. Auto Show. And this is Mark. Uh, you have a 56 Chevy that's stunning. Yeah. Oh, did you uh, did you have it painted this color? Was that your choice? No, this was actually done by a, a car manufacturer guy. He moved to Vegas, he used to be local. His name's Magoo. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, the fabulous Magoo. So he painted this car in Las Vegas in 2006. Mm -hmm. uh, it was in Super Chevy Magazine, February of 2007. That's gorgeous. So I was able to pick it up. You know, why? Why this ago. car for you? Why? Why not? Uh, I, I looked. I looked at. I was actually looking at some Vickies and things like that. But uh, when I met with the gentleman and I came around the corner and there it was, I went. Uh, <laughs> Done. Uh, yeah. You know, it wasn't in great shape at the time, but. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, we spent some time with it, did engine compartment, did a few things, and uh, yeah, turned it into what I, I, I really like the car. It's a driver, yeah. so we, we, we go places. We went to Bakersfield. We, we just came back from Santa Barbara last awesome. weekend. That's and awesome. so yeah, it's a, it's a good driver daily. 30 seconds, what's your, your best story with this car? 
my best story with this car is that uh, we were in Santa Barbara last weekend and with I don't know, 600 cars, and I won first place in the tri You're kidding. tri fi class. The, the Santa Barbara State Street Nationals? I won first place. Dude! The man <laughs> so, right here, congratulations. Thank you very much. Way to go, that's that, awesome. Yeah, that, the Cazero. Well deserved. Incredible cars. Oh, yeah. Absolutely good. Yeah. Fantastic. So, thank you, Mark. You're Appreciate welcome. it. Thanks. This is Steve, and you got a Suburban behind us. Yeah, Suburban Cario, 1954. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, you were just asking me about the uh, history on it. I know that, I'm pretty sure that in 32 they started, but it, uh, making them, but they didn't go out to the to the public yet. They went to yeah. the Forest Service, and I think, uh, I think to the train companies. Right. And then in 35 they came out, and they started building them. So in 35, it was an all steel, all steel car, kind of like you see it, you know, and they kept that one going all the way until the late 40s, that style. And, and where, where did you find this one? It. I found this down in San Diego, and a uh, fella had gone through it, and uh, that's his paint job. This is 1998 paint job put on here. <laughs> guy named guy named Tim Taylor, who has passed away, is hit the pinstriping. Right. And uh, yeah, people from back then, people from back then know that. And then I replaced everything from the radiator to the rear end yeah. and chopped it, blocked it, and all awesome. that kind of stuff. Yeah, Beautiful. a lot of fun. I know a guy's got one in Santa Barbara. If you're listening, he's got a three-door rare oh, yeah. in Santa Barbara. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. He was at the show up there last week. Awesome. Thank you, yeah. man. All right. Cool. My pleasure. You know, uh, always best best car in the show. Always. always yes. I, I don't know what to say. Without about, doubt. You know. Without a doubt. Um, you guys have uh, Star Car Central. Yes. Which is the ultimate movie car club. Exactly. And you, you have some new recruits because I just saw something pink pull in. Yeah, we have the pink Corvette. Why aren't you driving that? Uh, you're in touch with your manlyhood, aren't you? There is a feminine side to me. I know. I know. You yeah. knew that. Already. As are all, you know, with everybody. Yeah. Um, anything new on the car? On the Torino? Yeah. No, it's it's running good. Uh, so it's running it's, instead. It always runs. It's clean. I just put a new battery. Lou has the best Torino, the best Starsky car, bar none, of anyone on the planet. Thank this you. Fantastic shape. We we'll have to go for a spin sometime. Absolutely. We'll right. do that. But we had fun that one time. We always have fun. That was that was really. I still had that video. That was pretty crazy. <laughs>
There was a study done once, maybe not too long ago, that had to do with our connection with seeing people fail and the dopamine that happens, the, the, the stuff that goes on in your mind when you see somebody uh, kind of get karmic backlash for the things that they do. And they actually derived pleasure. You derive pleasure from seeing people fail. I always looked at it as the opposite. I always derive pleasure from seeing people succeed. That, in particular, gets me excited. But what you don't realize in a case like that is that you're actually making a conscious choice whether you acknowledge it or not. Looking for the best in people, looking for where someone's succeeding, looking for where you're succeeding, is optimal for growth. You may look at your life as a, a line as to all the things that you've done, and a good majority of that is the area that you failed, and the small area right here is the area that you've succeeded. But you're not gonna get anywhere if you focus on all those failures and all the things that you can't do. You can only get to where you're going if you concentrate on the areas you've succeeded and where you're going. It's always great to see someone go to a car show and, and win, and win with something that they're truly passionate about, and that's what Mark did. I love seeing guys like that because they're the ones that are showing that it's possible. So the question is, where can you look in your life and focus on the things that you succeed at? Don't worry about all the stuff that you, you didn't succeed at. There was learning experiences and all those things. You gotta stay focused, going in the direction that you want to go. And someone a lot wiser than me said, if you wanna go to Mount Olympus, you just gotta make sure that every step you take is in that direction. I just got a text from Wes. He's still alive. Okay, that's it folks. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Make sure that you subscribe and that subscribe button down it's somewhere around there. Uh, hang out with us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all those fun places. Be sure to pick up my latest book, the Mustang Coloring Book. I'll put a link down in the notes down there. You never know, there's a kid that, that wants to draw Mustangs. But if you think that's cool, just wait till you see what's coming next. Ho, ho, ho.